Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of January. Um, keep in mind this reading is not for everybody. It may be for you, it may not be for you. Or if you're in a happily ever after relationship, it's definitely not for you. This is not for somebody, you know, that isn't experiencing any difficulties. They really don't need a tarot reading. This is for people that have questions or need some sort of clarification. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two nines right off the back. We have some contradictions here. <laughs> um, one's reverse, one's upright. Things are unbalanced, absolutely. Somebody may have just released something that was depressing in search for their happily ever after, right? I want wish fulfillment. I want more. I know that I can have more. And the only way that I can have more is to let go, is to let go of this uh, exhausting situation that I've held on to. So yeah, it looks as though, I mean, an owl, we saw an owl is a symbol of uh, change. I mean, it is. It's a transformation. It's a symbol of a uh, huge transformation, really. So somebody has, I think somebody has ended something or they're about to end something that has just been <sighs> heavy. Really heavy. Something has hindered their growth, right? And I want, I want more. I want more. I deserve more. I'm looking for, I'm looking for their extreme happiness here. Defending myself. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to do what's right for me. So I feel like you guys are taking a stand in some way. Or you're about to take a stand. No longer going to let yourself be victim to these circumstances. And you may have been vict victim to some circumstances for long enough. You know? I'm not going to, I'm not going to hang around in this depre depressive, this depressive state. I'm not going to do it. Too cold. There's too much too cold. It's too cold. You know? Too insecure. I, you know, I'm looking for a lot more. Mmm. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, you guys have are probably finding the strength and the courage and the compassion for yourselves you know to let go of something that was really really stressful you guys it looks like you guys are no longer um thinking about it you probably were thinking about it not taking any action for quite some time but it looks like after not thinking not taking any action I mean, after thinking and not taking any action, let me rephrase that, rephrase that. You thought about it. You thought about this. You know, it, it's not like you made an impulsive decision. Instead of making an impulsive decision, you thought about it, and you thought about it, and you thought about it, and now you're standing up for yourself, and you're taking action. You probably you could be moving. You could be scheduling a move or making plans. Either way, it looks like you guys are raising your vibration pretty quickly, starting to feel better, or you're going to start to feel better. Your strength is starting to come back, and you want to know why? Because you're standing up for yourself. You're doing what you need to do for you. And when you do, not, do what you need to do for you, everything else gets better. And that's what's happening here. You guys were lacking wish fulfillment wherever you were. And you knew that you had to make a move to find it. Wherever you were at, there was no hope. You lost hope, right? There was nothing to celebrate. You didn't feel happy. It's like there, there was barely even friendship. Or maybe wherever you're at now, there's hardly any friendship. And there's just nothing to celebrate. Or you feel that way. Or you did feel that way. Maybe, maybe you're looking for something more, and it looks like you are. I'm looking for something more. Oh, 
Yeah. You're looking for the you're looking for that golden opportunity, right? You're willing to put in the hard work. Or you want somebody else that's gonna put in the hard work. So this is for Aquarius for January. You may be receiving communication from somebody who uh wants to help you okay this is communication this could be help arriving you know accepting help from somebody else whatever's happening it's happening very very quickly and it's going to bring you more stability it's going to lift you up something is going to lift you up you're going to feel more grounded you're going to feel stronger um you're going to feel wiser you're just you're going to feel better your, your strength is coming back. Your strength and your security and your stability. Your money is probably going to increase because when you make the right choices for yourself and you put yourself first, everything else falls right into place. You guys are releasing something that was very negative in your life. You were probably dealing with a Debbie Downer of some sort. And it like stole your energy, you know, it stole your ambition. And it's like, damn, I can't do this. I'm looking for something more reliable, you know, more practical for me. So I feel as though if you are the Aquarius woman, you are looking very good. Same with the man. I mean, I see a, a lot of uh, beauty here. I see a lot of um, gracefulness. Um... compassion you know and people can see that your vibration is rising people probably see that you're starting to look better even and I'm not saying that you didn't look good before it's just I think that you're probably the energy of this whoever this was that was whatever this energy was that was weighing you down is starting to be left behind okay That this is recognition. Yeah, people people could see that you were starting to go backwards. Somebody was trying to start trying, or they were holding you back from success. But I think you guys have found the strength to take it in your own hands and and break free from something that was toxic. So if you guys haven't broken free, you're 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 thinking about breaking free because this is kind of. This is still thinking, or you were thinking, because the Knight of Wands usually doesn't think, it's reversed, so he's been thinking. So somebody's been thinking about breaking free, or they have broken free now, to, from a toxic situation, from somebody that had a really big ego, there could have been addictions in the way, uh, codependency, control, you know, very controlling, manipulative person here, you know, that really held somebody back from success. You know, sometimes people choose to be with the wrong one just for codependency reasons and that's not doing the right thing and therefore you don't bring in the success. I mean, the universe sees everything. So somebody is broken free, there's no doubt. Somebody has broken free from something that was very negative, a negative, stressful, depressing situation. It's like it's done, it's over. I'm taking back my power, I'm taking back my control, and I'm, I'm getting the hell out. Okay, because wherever you were at, there was no, there was no success. There wasn't. So I want this wish fulfillment, and I'm strong enough to go after it. Yeah, somebody was in a situation where they weren't receiving, you know, the best opportunity. They knew it wasn't the best opportunity, and the only way that they were going to get the best opportunity was to make that move, to defend themselves, to stand for themselves. So you may be. Um, not accepting a reunion with somebody else, somebody, whoever this person that you left out, they maybe they've asked you for some sort of reunion or they have asked for some sort of date and you be like, be like, no, I don't want this opportunity. No, not interested. Not interested. Because I'm looking for the real deal here. I'm looking for love. Real love. 
So we do have somebody that is going to come in with love. Now, this could even be self-love. This could be, you know, I love myself enough to say no to your fake opportunity. Something, your, your opportunity that's not even real. No, I don't want that, you know. So now we have another offer. Now, this could even be, this could be self-love. Um, it looks to me like you could be receiving an offer from somebody that you have dealt with in the past that, you know, some sort of communication that says, you know, can, can we try this again? This is a reunion. This is a reunion. And you're like, no, no, I don't want, this is not a stable, solid offer of love. You know, so you could, that's one scenario here. You also could be receiving an offer of love. This could be somebody new. This could be somebody new. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be somebody that... Hold on, let me get another one. Ooh. Could be somebody that you released a long time ago and you never thought... Because I keep thinking this is somebody from a long time ago. I don't know where that's coming from. But I just it's come popped into my head multiple times. So I don't know if it's somebody from a long time ago that hasn't been in your life for a really long time. And somehow they show back up into your life. I feel as though there's a new opportunity that is going to come in. That you, I don't even, even, I don't, I really don't think it's new. I have to, I have to backtrack here. I think this is somebody that you've known before. There's somebody, because I really feel like this is somebody that you've known. I feel like somebody, maybe it's the last ex or somebody that you knew from a long time ago that comes in with some sort of communication that, you know, they'd like another chance and you might say, no, I'm sorry. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's funny because I just happened to notice we have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Now, if you notice, I use this deck constantly. You see, it's all ragged. So, there's a progression here. Somebody has progressed. They're not the same person that they used to be. So, I feel like you're probably letting go of something that was heavily weighing you down and perhaps you receive a new offer and you're like, no, I don't even want it. I'm not even there. I'm not even close. No, I don't want, no, I don't want. Yeah, I want love someday, but not right now. I just got rid of one. I just lost one up. You know, I just went through a loss of some sort. So you might be like, you know, you might be on guard and be like, you know, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I do want love. But right now I'm working on self-love. I'm working on self-love. So somebody, I think there's somebody that you have been dealing with that may, you know, their pride may be hurt because you rejected them and now they, they want another chance and you're like, no, not today, Satan. You know, that kind of thing. I'm not interested. Not today. Not today. I've dropped that baggage. I've dropped it. I'm not the same person. I'm not there. I'm not interested. I'm looking for my I'm looking for my money. I'm looking for my coin. I'm looking for stability. I'm looking for security. And with you in the way, I can't get there. So I think there's somebody that has been hindering success for sure. And this person may want another chance and you may be like, no, I love myself enough enough to say, adios, not interested, sorry. Yeah, it looks like somebody is, is getting the cold hard truth, the cold, cold hard shoulder. You may be giving somebody the cold shoulder, you know. I'm just not there, I'm not interested, back up before you get hurt. Not interested. I'm not interested. You don't like. You're not gonna like what I have to say. And they aren't gonna like what you have to say. But you gotta do what you gotta do for yourself, right? I think you're about to give somebody the cold hard truth, or you have given somebody the cold hard truth, and they're gonna get cut out because all it's done is hold you back from from true love. So you do have an opportunity for love once you make that decision to do what's right for you. And I think that's what's going on here. Yeah. It looks as though there's some sort of, definitely some sort of communication that's going to be had. There's going to be a conflict. There's probably going to be somebody who's going to receive the, the message that you give them and they aren't going to like it. And this person, there may be a fight. <coughs> Two swords. You may, you may have some sort of verbal battle or verbal altercation. I mean, it could even get nasty. 
Okay, you could you could have some sort of altercation that uh, really helps you to let go. If you were holding on at all, it doesn't look like you will when it's over. So it looks, or it might cause them to let go. Whatever the case is, there could be some sort of oh, altercation, fight, you know, that causes a really a big like mm -mm, done. Done, done. I have no energy, no desire to even be a part of this whatsoever. None. Done. Done. Yep. Release. Goodbye. See ya. Nope. Mm -mm. Not holding. Don't come back either. Don't come back. I'm totally letting it go. I don't care what you gave to me in the past. I don't care what we had. I don't want it. I don't want it. Nope can't do it there's no there's no confidence in this there's this there's too much negativity uh whoever you were dealing with uh poor poor pitiful me no no ambition no drive lazy uh loss of focus this person was holding you down and i think that you have come to the conclusion that you're gonna have to speak the truth and this person is probably gonna fight with you about it so i'm sorry but i'm not gonna pretty it up if it ain't pretty um, yeah, you're probably moving. You're you're moving. You're you're planning to move, or you're about to move. And a relationship that you have been in is about to end. That's what it looks like to me. I'm not gonna pretty it up, okay? Ten. These are both completions. They are. They're both. It's over. Something is ending. Something that was heavy. Something that was be burdensome. Something that was overwhelming. It's no longer stable. It's no longer. There's too many fights. There's too many feuds. Somebody's deciding that I don't want this. I'm moving. See ya. And if you don't like it, tough shit. Because I matter and I want love. And I love myself enough to do so. So is there new love coming in? <clears throat> it's a time of healing, okay? It's a time of healing. It's a time of letting go. It's a time of endings bring new beginnings. So yes, on the outskirt, you will have a new beginning that, be, that leads to love. But you have to heal first. You have to heal. You have to um, come out of this dark period that you've been in. Okay, so usually, I mean, things die in the winter time and they become alive in the spring. So perhaps by springtime, you know, you'll, ha you'll be ready for love. But it feels like... There's an ending here that is in the process of happening and probably by springtime, maybe maybe April, you know, things will become alive again and you'll start to feel alive again. So I think by April you'll be ready for love, but I think that for some of you, um, we have a transformation going on and remember I saw it in one of these cards, was it this one? Yeah, because of the owl and this, they're, now they're marrying each other. So it's you have to release to start the transformation. You go through this transformation and then you will have a new beginning. So I feel as though this is the beginning. Okay, it's a release. You're at the very beginning. And you are going to have to make progress. And, and not all the progress has been made yet. So it's a, it's a time of making progress to stand your ground and defend yourself and love yourself and, and find that internal love so that you can call in the, the soulmate that you desire so yes we do have a new beginning coming but i don't they feel like this person is going to come to the spring okay because right now we have the death of something we do the owl and this we have a death of something that's happening right now so this needs to happen so that you can get your new beginning so that's what I see for January. I feel like you guys are in the process of maybe moving or completing one cycle. These are both completions. Maybe you are quitting a job. This could be job or relationship, whichever it is. It's going to take time to bring back your livelihood, okay? The livelihood is going to come back, but and you're going to start to feel more and more and more and more alive as time goes on. At this point, I think, you know, once you break free from this toxic situation, which is the devil... Okay, this is breaking free. Once you break free from that, you your health will go up. Everything, you'll look better. Everything will start to get better real fast. It will. Forgiveness. 
Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. And I think kind of that's where you're at, right? You're like, I'm not going to hold on to this. Yes, it's disappointing. Yes, it hurt. Yes, we had some good times. But I know that there's more. And I'm not happy where I'm at. And I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. Because I love myself enough to say no. I want this transformation. I want this ultimate love. And in order for me to get that, I'm going to have to make a move and complete this. This, this drama filled situation, whichever you were, this is fighting at home. There's just too much. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it anymore. So it looks to me as though you guys are making a big move or you're about to make a big move and the healing process is about to begin. And as that process begins, it's going to lead you right towards wish fulfillment and a new beginning. So this month, I think I think this is self-love. I think, yes, you will receive some sort of offer from somebody, you know, that you've known. And you're probably like, no, mm -mm, can't do it right now. Sorry. That's what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you next time.